If you're looking for Japanese Pokemon booster box cases, look no further than the sponsor of this video, omotenashitcg.com. They're an online store based in Japan, and not only do they sell Pokemon booster box cases, but also for One Piece. And with that being said, if you're also interested in looking for single cards, this store also offers a wide variety of Pokemon card singles and also One Piece card singles. Feel free to use my discount coupon CRYSTAL1 for 10% off card singles only. Now let's get on to the video. We'll be starting off with Cyber Judge. So of course this is half of Temporal Forces, which will be coming out in English shortly, but of course we have the Japanese release first. I just want to also make mention, guys, as I'm opening the box, I've recently gotten a lot of questions um, asking if the sponsor of this video, Omotenashi TCG, is legit. I want to reassure you guys, I am, you know, of course, being sponsored by them, but I also do my research before I even choose to collaborate with any specific brand. If they were untrustworthy, if there was any history of them sending, you know, shady boxes, etc., I wouldn't choose to collaborate with them because, of course, that's going to fall back on me. I even have their business card here. These packs are from them. This booster box also of Wild Force, which I'm going to open in the same video, is also from them. So whatever you see in front of you right now is from them. Just guys, please use a bit of common sense. I just want to reassure you guys, I'm not here to screw anyone over. I'm only here to educate, share love of Pokemon, and make sure you guys get, you know, a good resource. You know, I, if I'm going to say my source is any Pokemon cards, it's always going to be something that you can trust. So please be reassured of that. We have Scyther, one card trick to the front, by the way. We have Meltan, we have Pikachu here, and we have Little Razor. Okay, on to the next pack. Of course, SR is guaranteed in Japanese booster boxes, so please keep that in mind. Unlike Korean booster boxes. And my chase card in this set actually is going to be one of the Nagi Muso special arts, of course, of the three mascots over here. The Swords of Justice. We have Iron Leaves, which looks like Verizian. We have Iron Boulder, looking like Terukion. And also Iron Crown, looking like Cobalion, actually my favorite of the three. I think mainly just because of the blue color, but of course as well. I do like Paradox Pokemon a lot. I know this, these sets aren't going to get too much love this time around. Um, maybe if you haven't played the DLC yet, which is totally fine. Um, this is a nice set, of course, for Pokemon to promote, of course, Scarlet and Violet and the, and the DLC. But not just that, we also have the return of a spec card. So this actually was a previous type of trainer card implemented in the past. You can only use one per deck, only because they have, you know, unique special powers or, you know, effects in the game that are a bit stronger, a bit more effective than typical trainer cards. And they're textured too, which is really cool. And we have our first EX card, Iron Boulder. Very nice. You can only get this from Violet version if you do not play the DLC or really any um, of the games from the ninth generation. And of course, the, um, the Dino Pokemon, the Legendary Beast, like Raging Bolt, Rocking Wake, and also Gouging Fire, you can only get from Scarlet. So because I play Violet, I have to play Scarlet to get those cards, um, get those Pokemon. But anyway, looking at the back of the pack here, you see that pink? That is the A spec card. So that's really, really cool. I do like what they did with this. It reminds me a lot of the Prism cards we've had from uh, Sun and Moon era and also the Radiant card. So again, with these cards, you can only have one per deck. You're only get, gonna get one of these per booster box. It's not a secret rare, it is part of the set. Number 62 out of 71, but check that out, guys. This is really cool. So the texturing is gonna be mostly like on the sides. There's a unique hollow foil, which is only on the artwork, which is really cool. So I like what they did here. But yeah, I guess a spec cards specifically for the TCG, just super powered supporter or trainer cards, essentially. And I think there's a Master Ball, too. It's not pullable from the sets. It's, it comes from like one of the Maridon or Koridon special sets that they've also released in Japan. There's new Koridon and Maridon artwork in those. So that's really cool to see, um, including the EX cards, but not part of these sets, not part of Temporal Forces. Maybe it'll actually come out in the English version, because sometimes they tend to combine the Japanese sets with other special sets that they've released in Japan. Japan, so stay tuned for that. And it hasn't been confirmed yet. There's only so much information so far on Temporal Forces. But anyway, moving on. Lots of beautiful artwork to appreciate in this set as well, if we're lucky enough to pull a beautiful special artwork. Also very happy to see Iron Thorns finally featured. Also with the cool, you know, little highlight here of the future theme. And of course, in Wild Force, we're going to see the ancient theme, like an ancient roar and future flash. I'm really enjoying this whole flow of Paradox Pokemon right now. Again, if you've played the games, you'll appreciate Paradox Pokemon. If you haven't yet, also beautiful artwork by Kantaro. I have to say, I'm very impressed by the Zero Aura. I do like how it's doing a little break dance. Kind of like that Genesect from Fusion Arts, or Fusion Strike if you collect English. We have Electabuzz, we have Drillbur here, and Rillor just chilling on that dung. 
I have a power boost for the future Pokemon. So yes, these uh, specific trainer cards will also apply you know, to the specific type that they're associated with. So there's the ancient version and there's a the future version. So cool to see. One to the front here, we have Delcaddy. But yes, guys, big thank you to Omotenashi again for um, these booster boxes. Again, if I didn't trust them, I wouldn't be recommending them to you. Be sure to use my discount code CRYSTAL1 if you want 10% off on a card singles both for Pokemon and also for One Piece starting February and also lasting for the whole month. So because it's only for a limited time, hop on that while you can. Very cute Pikachu by the way by Kodama and Litten. I have to say I love Ren's artwork. So if you don't know who Ren is, R-E-N-D, they actually won the illustration contest for Pokemon back in 2022. I think I announced 2023 if, that, if the timing is right there. They um, drew the Arcanine. I'll feature it on screen but I love their use of um, What's it called? Like blur to make the perspective really obvious in the artwork. It's beautiful. And also I like how they've actually made an art rare also in one of these sets as well. The Iron Crown, I have to say, I'm very impressed with how shiny the foil is and also the lovely sparkle as well. So of course, this is the paradox form of Cobalion. Very nice. Iron Crown. I like the names actually. But yeah, so Ren's artwork is really cool. I'm happy to see the contest winner's artwork being featured, even if actually they're not like a top winner. I think even runner-up artists also get featured, you know, in some of the common cards. So I'm really happy to see that. I only say this because I did enter into the Pokemon Illustration Contest this year. I entered three works. I'm not going to say what they are. They will be announced, I believe, August of this year. So stay tuned for that. If I don't win, you'll definitely see it on my Instagram and elsewhere, Twitter, etc. So stay tuned for that if you want to see what I drew. Spent a lot of time on it, and I'm very excited to see what happens. I'm not expecting to win. There's a lot of talented artists in Japan and also throughout the world. I think this year they've actually allowed more people from different countries to participate. I think it's including Canada, New Zealand, Australia, of course, Japan, and of course the United States as well as opposed to last year. I think it was just two countries, but um, it's really I'm really excited to see other people's work as well. You know, from actually doing the contest, I, I appreciate a lot of the artworks this time around too. We have our secret rare guys in Cineroar. So it's cool, we're seeing a lot of throwback Pokemon. I believe in Wild Force there's also a Torterra. So lots of throwback. This is really cool to Alola region we have from Litten. And there's a lovely Litten art rare in this set as well. So that's really cool to see. And of course we have our Bianca. I believe that's the chase of this set in particular. That's the most expensive card. I don't really care for value, but I do love the artwork of the Bianca special art rare. If someone pulls it, big congratulations to them. I don't think we're gonna pull it in this video, but unless we get a double stack box, that's the nice thing about Japanese booster boxes. There is the likelihood of pulling a second secret rare if you're lucky enough. I'm not Korean apparently, but it's all good to go. We have a lovely Breloom. I do love this artist. Taiga Kasai is also another winner of the Pokemon Illustration Contest in 2022. They drew the Greninja. Very well done, by the way. And we have our first art rare. Wow, it's been a, been a while. Already halfway through the box, we have our Excadrill. Very cute. Looks a lot smaller than, you know, you would think in the game. I think that's also small to begin with, but Drillbur is even smaller. And here they are actually, speaking of the devil, right next to each other in the same pack. That's actually quite timely right there. But yes, guys, back on the discount coupon, if you want to get some discounts off singles, if you're only collecting singles, that's understandable. Booster boxes aren't the best to collect right now unless you're a sealed collector. Again, use Crystal 1 for 10% off, both on Pokemon and One Piece cards. Make sure to buy at least two cards, though. Don't just get one, otherwise the coupon won't apply, and that'll be for the month of February. And no, it won't apply to booster boxes, just to clarify again, guys, in case you missed it in the intro. We have Slugma, lots of beautiful artwork. I like how this Raichu 2 is like stretched out. It's like having a nice little back pin there. And I love the colors as well. Lots of beautiful art to appreciate. We have to appreciate the common and uncommon cards too, guys. You know, that was, that was my biggest lesson from participating in the contest. A lot of work goes into, you know, each and every artwork, the perspective, the colors, you know, even the shading, the, oh wow, especially this one, the Metagross, right after Matang. That's actually fun. I notice every time I pull an art rare, it's right next to one of its evolutions. So that's pretty cool to see by uh, Katsunari Sato. Absolutely gorgeous in the winter time too, which is right now. So that's actually pretty fitting. All right, so pull that to the side. That's our second art rare. There's three art rares typically per booster box. And then, you know, this is the joy too of opening a new set. You get to see new artworks in person. We have Zero Aura. Zeta Ora also in Japanese. You have Pineco, it looks like cross-eyed here a little bit. We have Electabuzz. 
um, we have here fortress. I like this art style actually. It reminds me of a different artist and thinking of someone else, but they have a similar bold line use, minimal shading, but still very nice. And let's see, you know, the fun part. Well, oh, there's another Metagross in this set too. Pretty cool. I guess whenever there's an art rare, you're going to see the common or uncommon card version. We have Beldum, Menachamp. Wow, and our third art rare. They just happen to be in this one pile of cards. That's interesting. We have Litten. This absolutely adorable. I do want to appreciate this a little bit just because there's so much detail. So you have, of course, actual Litten here, the little plushie here. There's even a shiny form of Litten right there on the book. That is quite nice. Not to say too, like going from the Scarlet, sorry, from Sword and Shield era to Scarlet and Violet era, they've definitely made the foil a little bit more, you know, noticeable, which is quite nice. A little bit more glossy, if you will. Anyway, and also the packs are very easy to open. I've seen some people open boxes and they apparently, some of them don't have enough glue. Definitely not the case with mine. I just opened it with the tab, but that's just one thing I've noticed as well. Mawile and Bramble, guys. Very nice detail on that. Look how realistic that is, actually. Have to appreciate the hollows too, guys. You know, if you don't get your chases, there's other lovely cards to appreciate. And I think too, that's why, you know, Shiny Treasure EX didn't feel as substantial to us because we're used to getting like three art rares. Back in the day when we had Shiny Star V, like the three baby shinies felt nice with the full art shiny, but now things are very different. I just wonder how the next high class set's gonna be actually. Hopefully we get more, you know, spoiled again with more artworks like we did with VMAX Climax and also V Star Universe. We have Vico Vault. Ooh, very nice perspective on that. Very good Scyther art as well. We have Jewel Burr. We have Giraffe Rig, and we have Bianca as well. I think Ferrigaref is actually in the other set as a terraform or log trio. It's, it's one, you're going to see either log trio or Ferrigaref as a terraform. All right, we have Shift Tree, C Dot. Oh, nice. Both evolutions. I'm just missing Nuzleaf. All right. Oh, very nice. To all the Scissor fans, you're, you're blessed with a very nice artwork. Scissor EX. Oh, yeah. So one thing, too, about the illustration contest. This year, they did something different. So you could actually submit work for either a regular card like this, like, you know, just this by this dimensions, or as an EX artwork, which is really cool because you have to submit both um, like a full artwork and then also a version of where it's embedded in the card. That was a challenge, but I'm excited to see like how that turns out and who's going to win because that's a whole different dimension added to the contest that hasn't been done before. So I'm very anxious to see who wins. And I've actually done two, you know, just so you guys know. So because I like the whole perspective and dynamicism involved with the EX artwork. So, you know, I'm excited to see who wins. We'll see. Give it a few months. <laughs> All right, we have Rapska. Very beautiful artwork. I believe also this is actually one of the winners from the contest, if I'm not mistaken, um, or a runner up from the past. This is very beautiful, though, Rapska. I just, there's a lot of articles that actually Poke Garden have been putting out on how artists approach making Pokemon cards, you know, from scratch, of course, in terms of just the artwork. The template's are already there, the text is done by other people, but in terms of actually making the artwork, it's very interesting how artists actually approach um you know coming up with the background coming up with the pose there's a lot that goes into it and i feel like that gets overlooked by a lot of people that's why i like to emphasize it a lot of the time okay so this set we have ferrigaraf so the other set has woke trio so that's good to know giraffe rig and ferrigaraf are in the same set and i love how it's a dark type it actually looks nice and as with terra cards that are dark, dark type it kind of pops out more so that's really cool to see. Too bad we didn't get to do Terra art for the contest, but that perhaps that's a little too advanced. I think the more uh, Pokemon implementing EX cards in the art contest is already enough. So <laughs> maybe in the future, we'll see. We have Nuzleaf, we have Electivire, and of course Terra is only going to apply to Scarlet and Violet. Okay, so last pack, guys, of Cyber Judge, and then we're going to move on to our next box. One to the front here. Okay, we have a lovely energy right there. Litten by Rend, again, beautiful artist right there in artwork. Okay, and our last card's Excadrill, which also there's an art rare in this set. So, nice box, that was pretty fun. We got to see A-spec cards for the first time. Now we're gonna move on to Wild Force, featuring the legendary beast, Land Before Time edition. <laughs> you know, we have our dinos on here. It's really entertaining. I know some people may not like them. I did think they were a bit weird at first. It was quite an adjustment, because also, you know, if you look at Raging Bolt, which is essentially Raikou's Paradox Pokemon, it's like a combination of a saber-toothed tiger and Jeffrey from Toys R Us, the giraffe. <laughs> but really, it's supposed to represent like a, oh, whoa, that's a big mess of packs coming up. A Brontosaurus, long neck. I'll just think of Line Before Time because, of course, Walking Wake, which is essentially Paradox Suicune, looks like a T-Rex. I wouldn't expect Suicune to be turned into a T-Rex. What do you guys think? Who's your favorite out of the three? Mine's still Walking Wake. I know, a lot of, I know it's pretty well divided. Some people like Raging Bolt. Some people like Gouging Fire. Some people like Walking Wake. I'm definitely still a Walking Wake. This is a very interesting um, 
<laughs> wiglet card, by the way. Is everyone else just looking up in this, in this little wiglet, just, you know, standing out from the crowd. We have a lovely, wow, art rare. Yes, with that being said, Gengar is in this set, which I find a bit uh, symbolic because, of course, Morty is in the set as well. The Gengar is a full art, and then Gengar is part of the Morty special art rare. There's no special art Gengar, unfortunately. But because Morty in the set, it just reminds me of Ecritique City, which is where these three beasts, you know, Suikun, Entei, Raikou, we're in the burn tower with Hobo, so I just find this set very symbolic. Of course, Wild Force has to be my favorite out of the two. And I'm looking forward to our secret bird, which is guaranteed. We have our Senta Scorch there. Um, I think by, everyone by now should know that <laughs> the, the secret bird is guaranteed out of the Japanese booster boxes. But yes, and we have Morty here. Do you guys remember how Morty looked like in gold, silver, crystal? I'm not talking about heart gold and soul silver. I'm talking about the OG Gen 2 games. I'll put it on screen how Morty used to look like. It baffles me how much the change, you know, it, sometimes it just goes over our heads because so much time has passed, but Morty really got a new look compared to how he looked like back then. By the way, this is a very beautiful ride on hollow just to change the topic this is beautiful because also that hollow foil bleeds into the side here actually that's pretty cool with the whole ancient gimmick so that's pretty awesome and if i pulled maride on unfortunately i did not pull the hollow in this video i was really hoping to but it's okay i am a maride on collector i'm pretty sure the hollow foil would have done the same effect snom very cute snom right there okay and we have oh our terra card from this set we have wong trio um, there's also a Terra Vungtrio, which also looks very interesting. Very cute. I like how it's an electric type. I don't know why that would make sense, but it does. It's supposed to be a water type, but it's really adorable. Anyway, so that's our Terra for this set. The yellow does match the whole concept, you know, color of Wild Force, so that I guess that matches up. And one to the front. Let's keep going here. So there's our uh, battle capsule, battle boost capsule for the ancient Pokemon. I'm very happy Totodile is in this set as well as Croconaw for Alligator. Oh yeah, Turtwig and the Torterra line are in this set as well. So throwback to Gen 2 and Gen 4 in this set. Although really Cyber Judge and Wild Force feel like a huge hint for upcoming games. We have Gen 2 and Gen 5 featured. There's a lot of conversations on Twitter I see of people hoping for like a black and white remake. Oh, very nice. Or a, you know, Gen 2 remake of some sort, maybe a Legends game or whatnot, we'll see. And we have Grodel, very nice by Oswaldo Cato. Very nice emphasis on the background. That's Oswaldo Cato's, um, what's it called? Specialty, in my opinion. They always do really cool uh, alt arts with beautiful scenery. And onto the next pack. Again, this is the best, this is the most fun part about new sets, in my opinion. It's not about the money, it's not about the value. It's about appreciating the new art that you get to see. And also the new Pokemon featured as well, because, you know, if you play the game, this should be fun. This shouldn't be like, oh, it's a boring set, oh, it's a trash. It's actually not a trash set. I bet you in time, because this features, you know, it, it kind of der derives from Suicune, Entei, Raikou. This set will probably, you know, have some mem um, nostalgia in time, because, oh my god, remember the Paradox Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet? I don't know, if at least you care about the legendary beasts this will have some sort of significance in your collection. At least it, for me, it does. Because the alt arts of these three are absolutely beautiful by Tezuro. So Walking Way, Raging Bolt, and Gouging Fire all have really nice artwork. And it's undone by the same artist. I think the, the continuity of the art style really uh, brings out the appeal, in my opinion. Also, this artwork reminds me a lot of the original Ken Sugimori artwork in terms of the pale coloring there. Very nice. We have Dunsparce and Palafin Hero Form. Such a heavy emphasis, a reminder of My Hero Academia, that card for... Sorry to interrupt the video, I just want to let you guys know I started my own website, crystalcollects.com, where you can purchase your own multi-language Pokemon card slabs, card singles, or even just random card accessories. Feel free to subscribe for 5% off. Now back to the video. I'm not even halfway done yet. The set is so much fun. I'm just talking my mind off about it. But yeah, guys, you know, when it comes to sets like these, I just talk my mind off. I have no script in front of me. I'm just literally just giving my opinion on how, you know, nice the art is, the cool new gimmicks. Also, very nice Gengar, um, Terra, not Terra, EX. It almost looks like a Terra card because of how immensely sparkly this is. Check out that hollow foil, guys. Jay's going to be very happy about this. I was like, hey, Jay, wake up. There's a Gengar in the upcoming set. <laughs> he was so happy, I won't, let me tell you. But... Um, yeah, sadly, no special art of Gengar. I think Gengar is literally the reason why people even like the set in the first place. It shouldn't be like that. You know, I, I love the Paradox Pokemon. You should be appreciating these three. Gengar is great. Gengar is a great highlight, especially to Morty came back in this set as well. We haven't seen Morty for a very long time. 
but you know the true highlight is the paradox pokemon guys they're really cool i it's i also still haven't digested the fact that these three have a dragon typing as their secondary type um i can definitely see that on suicune possibly raging bull but definitely not an, on gouging fire or entei oh my god i am speechless guys i just pulled my chase walking wake Oh my god, thank you so much, Omotanashi. Guys, check out their store. If you want singles, this is definitely on their website as well. As um, In addition to One Piece cards. Guys, hit that like button. Look how beautiful this is. Let's ch check out that texturing effect. Again, by Tizuro. Also, also um, Illustrated Raging Bolt and also Gouging Fire. But guys, yeah, like let me ask you, since for the people who question Omotanashi's legitimacy, does this look fake to you? Do these packs look fake to you? I just have to say, like, you know, remember, I wouldn't be recommending someone shady and um, featuring them on my channel if that was the case. So be sure to check them out, at least give, give them a chance, you know, before you start making assumptions, in my opinion. I have Dangerous Jungle, wow, I am speechless, guys. I did not expect that whatsoever. Also forgot to mention too, I am doing a giveaway of one of each of these booster boxes, um, Wild Force and um, what's it called? Cyber Judge. <laughs> so I'm, I'm so speechless right now, my brain just went for a blank. Um, check out my Instagram. I am gonna be holding it until I think mid-February. So if you want a chance to win um, a box of each or you know, a box of one, there's gonna be two winners. One's gonna win one, of each, one box, one or the other. Check out my Instagram page to check all the rules. And if you want to participate, please do so. You have until February 15th. And I'll announce the winner through Instagram Live. You'll see me spin a wheel and I'll pick a name. So yes, I definitely uh, select a winner. I definitely announce it on my story. You know, sometimes I know sometimes at giveaways, it's, it can get a little shady. Some people don't even announce the winners. So um, definitely check me out on Instagram to stay tuned for that giveaway. It's in collaboration with the Motonashi. They're supplying the boxes you know, more proof that they are legitimate. And the previous winner who also won the Shiny Treasure EX booster box got a lot of good pulls. So I hope that serves as further proof. I'll put their um, page on screen right here. Markel Power, congrats again on your box. I'm glad you had a double hit box actually. <laughs> so just to show you guys what went on in the previous giveaway. Wait, what? Got another pull? Okay, so yeah, guys, I did talk about this in the previous box. You can have more than one seeker. So this is a stacked box. We have an explorer, generic trainer, no specific name, but this is pretty cool. The, the colors are extremely bold, and it almost looks like there's a hollow shift. It almost looks 3D to me. So yeah, slight hollow shift there, but super cool. Has the ancient logo right there. Very awesome. I like the theme of this set, um, definitely as opposed to Cyber Judge, but wow amazing box guys if you want your own again check out emotinashi.com unfortunately the discount code doesn't apply to booster boxes but if you're looking for singles you can definitely use my code crystal one to get a discount on cars that was unexpected af wow <laughs> very fun set though i definitely would you know keep you know maybe a box of this sealed for the collection you know especially if you appreciate the legendary beast it really reminds me a lot of neo revelations from the you know, the neo days vintage set now um and even unleashed from Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver era. Um, of course, we have the Scarlet and Violet gimmick. It's gonna have its own flavor this time around, but really enjoying this. I just love the theme of it. And I feel like this is what gives the whole substance of the Scarlet and Violet era. Like if we had sets that are just like 151 all the time, you wouldn't really f get the feel of the generation. And we have Gouging Fire EX, very nice. Can we get all three? I'd love to see that actually. At least we have Gengar already, which is pretty cool. But if we can get one of each, I'll be very happy. But I will not complain about that walking wake. Oh my gosh, beautiful water typing. Oh yes, and don't forget, guys, we still have our A spec. I think I see a little hint of it at the back here. What do we got? We got, oh, nice. So this is the Neo Superior Energy. I believe with this one in particular, again, you're only get, you can only use one per deck and you're only guaranteed one per booster box. This one, I believe if you attach it to a stage two Pokemon, it, um, it can turn it to two of any energy type, whatever you desire. So that's pretty cool. Otherwise, I think it's just a colorless energy. But that's really nice to see. I love the texturing on the A spec cards and the pink really pops, wow. Definitely a different approach by Pokemon, and I'm really enjoying it. But yeah, so let's just keep going here. Some packs to go through left. Um, I'm not sure, I think we've definitely got some art rares. Oh, for Alligator, yes. I got to mention for Alligator. By Gosan, another one of my favorite artists. I just love the contrasting in their coloring. Their shading really pops. Sorry, I'm just, I nerd about the art style because I've had to pay attention so much to, you know, artist techniques, when, especially when um, illustrating for the contest. So I do nerd about the art style quite a bit. All right, Great Tusk, again, really cool um, gimmick there on the side. And I like how the Holofoy kind of bleeds into that. 
something a little different in this generation. All oh, very nice art rare of a Mintino by Shibuzo. They have a nice little bit, like I like the texturing on their um, brush, I guess you can say. It's not texturing of the card, but when they color, you kind of see a bit of texturing in their art style. So it's, it's a very cutesy art style, in my opinion. Very friendly for fairy and normal type Pokemon. One to the front. All right, Battle Boost capsule for ancient Pokemon. We have Carvana. We have Ekans. Turtwig, and sorry for the mess, guys, there's a lot going on here, but I do my best to clean it up. And a few packs left. What do you guys think to the coloring, too? I think I like every single one of them. I think the thing that only bothers me is uh, Gouging Fire, the green. I think they could have chose a different color for that, but unless you like it, it's a bit of an odd color to have on Gouging Fire. But other than that, the designs are pretty cool. Again, Land Before Time reminder, because um, Walking Weight looks like a T-Rex. Raging Bolt looks like a, Brach a Brachiosaurus, and then... I think gouging fire is supposed to be with like a triceratops or something related in the dinosaur family. We have Mincino by Yukimori, Frostmoth, Rosalia. Oh, very nice. Flutter Mane. Very cool paradox Pokemon, actually. Fairy ghost type. That seems like a tough one to, you know, get rid of when you're in the wild. One to the front. And I believe there's a beautiful art rare. And also some of these art rares are going to be promos in Temporal Forces in the ETB. So that's pretty cool. We have Finizen, ah, and Torterra, yes, throwback to Gen 4 already, despite us having a Gen 4 remake and Legends Arceus. But yeah, still lots of Gen 4 love here, so that's pretty cool. Diamond and Pearl. And three packs left, guys. This has been quite the box. Lots of love on the left side, <laughs> particularly of Mudsdale. Ekins here, a Heatmore, Carvana, and a board. That's an interesting board, actually. I think it has an interesting name, like a field rescue, rescue board or something like that. All right, one to the front. We have Palafin. We have Puchiana. Lots of Gen 3. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, for Gen 5 feature as well. Reuniclus, Roly Coley, and Morty. Modified Morty from Heart Cold Soul Silver. Not old Morty with the blue shirt. Last pack, guys. Can we get some last pack magic? Maybe one more EX. I'd love to hope it'd be Raging Bolt or Walking Weight, but it's okay. You can always just get it on the side. Again, you can get singles. If you want to from Amotenashi of Eri, there's a full art Eri, very nice special art Eri too in this set. So that was quite an opening, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you missed it in the previous part of the video, please be sure to use my discount code Crystal1 from Amotenashi TCG, the sponsor of this video. Get 10% off any singles as long as you buy two single cards of either Pokemon or One Piece. And also check out my giveaway on Instagram in collaboration with Amotenashi TCG. And I'll see you guys in the next video.